Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel. I'm just offering some more free guitar instruction here. Uh, I'm actually using the Washburn J6, which is for sale 599. And I'll tell you, man, I love this guitar. I've used it for a whole bunch of videos for my guitar ladder video. And it, I play it a lot on plug too. I just watch basketball or whatever and like to work on uh, technique and scales and ideas and play it unplugged. It really has a nice ring unplugged. But plugged in, it's just got a, it's got a gorgeous tone. And I'm playing through a solid state amp too. It's a really nice guitar, 599, comes with a gig bag. But anyway, this is free instruction. So here's what I'm gonna talk about here is this chord form. Here I have a root, a flat 7, a 9, an augmented 11th, and a 13. So it's a dominant 13, augmented 11th. What a great sound, huh? Resolve that to that chord. Oh, I love that. Doesn't that sound cool? You hear, you hear the way that just shifts? It shifts and opens up. It's a really beautiful chord connection. Now this is an interesting chord. If you, I, I look at it in the reference point down here on the second fret. It, it's, it's an E minor 7 on the bottom, but then if you look in the middle of this chord, um, it's actually got like a, a C major 9, so it's kind of a, a you know, a polychord. Well, not, polychords are scale tone thirds away, so maybe a bichord would be a better, a better term for this. Um, so it's kind of a combination of, of an E minor 7 and a C major 9, or doing it up here like I just did, kind of a combination of a G minor 7 and a D sharp major 9. But anyway, so here, the whole the whole point, and I want to thank the 50 people that bought the guitar ladder system. I really appreciate it, and I'm always trying to give back for free, like I'm doing right now. But um, this is really, you know, a little, little tidbit of the guitar ladder system. When you start to improvise, quarterly speaking, on your guitar, you just take quantum leaps. And the guitar ladder system combines over 40 different chord cycles, and I'm going to be adding even more to it. And I present this information to your subconscious mind in a way that all of a sudden you just start understanding smooth voice leading, contrary motion, uh, movement of the interior and exterior voices of the chords. You start to understand progressions. Your ear will just start to hear how all this works together because I've put, I've put you through so many you know, uh, cycles and uh, different ways to resolve around your guitar that uh, it's really incredible. It's nothing less than miraculous. And, uh, it's kind of a combination um, of all the different people I've studied in my life. But uh, let me just get to this for now. I don't want to talk too much. So C, here I'm on the 8th fret of the E. Here's my A. I may not be tuned to concert pitch. So I'm on, I'm on C on the 8th fret, B flat, flat 7. And then with the 3rd finger on the 7th fret, you hit the, the G and the B string. So you pick up that, that ninth and augment 11 and the 13th on the bottom. What a great chord, huh? So we go from that chord and then bring down the bass to this uh, G minor seven with or you know with the uh, D sharp major nine combined at the same time. Okay, so what what a beautiful movement, huh? We'll drop down a half step to this. Um, it's a major thirteen form with a with a flat five. Okay, so that right there. You know, I read somewhere Joe Pass once said if he just finds a new way to use one or two chords every couple of weeks, he's a very happy camper. And he made a good point. He wasn't the most verbal guy in the world, but that's really the, the crux of the guitar ladder system is learning how to resolve chords, and that's why working chord melody is so important. But you don't want to get stuck on chord melody. I see a lot of guys get stuck there, and it's not about getting stuck. It's about coming up with your own style and writing your own music. So nothing wrong. I love the standards. I don't want to get a bunch of hate mail on that one. But I'm just saying that, you know, once you learn how to play standards, you need to create your own style, okay? So here we have this uh, dominant uh, 13, augment 11 chord, down to this bi chord to the uh, 13, 13 uh, flat 5. So we'll go that I'm not quite sure where I want to go from there. Let me see what I'm trying to hear here. This part I'm digging. Go to a 13 flat 9, which is just like a D chord, right? Except for... But I'm actually hearing something... Yeah, 
I like that. That kind of kind of pulls it down lower registers. Okay, so here I'm on the eighth fret of the low E seventh. I'm sorry, eighth fret of the D string. With my second finger, I'm barring the G and the B string on the seventh fret, picking up the A in the bottom. And by the way, the diminish uh, goes with the nice fret. slow down I haven't played much today so we have this drop the bass down to this by chord oh I love that right there that makes my day to this combination minor 7 combination G minor 7 and D sharp major 9 together down to an A 13 flat 5 drop that down major 3rd okay so that's the little. So we have that. To A, ma a uh, major 13, flat 5. See, because if you look at that in C, it's got a root, a flat 5, a 7, a 3. It's actually got a, it's actually got, you know what? This is actually, yeah, the 13 and the 9. Okay, anyway, so we have that. Let's love that. A13, flat 5, down to F. Okay. Maybe go to this. So that's like a minor 7, right? But you got a sharp 5 in there. It could go to here. You see what I'm doing? This is the way, this is what my guitar ladder system is based on, is resolving chords. Always trying something new, going somewhere new. Uh, the whole idea, but for this, let's have a focus, right? Nothing your mind can't create if you focus and you're positive. Okay, so here we are down the by chord. Now maybe let's go up a flat five. Another flat flat five. I better, I better wrap this up so it downloads. So here we have this chord here. What a wonderful chord, huh? Root, flat 7, 9, augment 11, and 13. Okay, then that's going to resolve down to the uh, by chord, the minor 7 with the major 9, 13, um, flat 5, down to F on the first fret, same form. Or you could this minor with a sharp five. Okay, see what I'm doing there? Always tr like, like try this a bunch of different ways. Go do this much and then try, you know, seven sharp five. That's the whole idea is experiment. Resolve the major seven into form chord cycle one that I have. So anyway, let's do it one more time. Really, this is the crux of this free guitar lesson in chordal improvisation. And I'm not going to get into some big whoop to do about it. Just think of it simple. I mean, Joe Pass said, "Simplify your thinking." And I, I'm like, right on, man. Just keep it simple, stupid. You know what I mean? And like Miles Davis said, forget all the shit and just play. I'm all for learning principles and learning, but I'm just saying at some point, keeping it simple and just thinking of chord connection and this chord connects, this chord is powerful. So 13, augment 11, minor 7, uh, major 9, by chord, 13, flat 5, right? Down to F. Okay, or... Let's try... 
seven. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. You know, I didn't, that's good to try things because sometimes you'll try things and it won't work and it doesn't sound good. And then you go, okay, that didn't, <laughs> that didn't work. So I'm going to stick to this. Seven, uh, 13 flat five. All right. One more time. So we have this. Or to this, this work. 